What is going on, y'all, and welcome back, and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim, and today I should be building the ultimate kitchen here on the survival server, and we should be doing a three-part building where we're going to have a brew room, a storage room, and the cookery room where you can satisfy all your cooking needs. But first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing and smashing that like button so your boy can get a little promotion. Both are greatly appreciated. And with that out the way, let us get this on. So first off, you can see that I have a little four by six structure right here and i know i talk about odd numbers but i will get to the why i'm going even here in just a moment so we can maximize and use all of our building blocks so first we're just going to go ahead and raise it up to and frame out all of our walls and where our doors are going to go so i'm going to go ahead and take all these two by one meter boards and run boop all the way around like that like normal like most builds it's always smart to frame out first that way you can just kind of get an idea and see the building take place before you slap down the the walls because i like to get a little freaky with the walls and juts and inverts and whatnot so now we're going to go around and we're going to add the one meter boards to each side and this is why we went with the even number because with the extra one meter off each side we shall have a total of actual like five boards in width and seven boards on the other side so we'll be able to use all of our roofing tiles including the centerpiece and it should come out smoothly on top and so now as you can see i went ahead and just added a little juts out for the windows and so we can have like an inlaid door frame right here i'm gonna put up a little cross beam it wouldn't let me have a snap point so get that out the way and throw that back up real fast there we go Beautiful. Now we have our little doorway. This kind of pushed into the wall looks good. We've got two little double windows. Get some torches inlaid on the inside. Just go ahead and frame these window seals out real fast. Boom. So you can already kind of see it taking shape in the making. But there we have those. And we have a couple different window shapes on the front. Giving it a little more uniqueness. Try never to do anything twice. Now we're going to go ahead and just frame out our overhang all the way around. Have kind of like our drip cap. So this is where the roof will start and we will actually have a nice all the way wrap around overhang that will already be perfectly laid out and framed for us. And we're going to go ahead and jump around and do these two walls the same way. I might invert those a little later, but what the backside is going to have a staircase. So there's not really no necessary need to kind of do too much back here, but boom, we'll have that at a diamond. Of course, you know, I can't help myself a little placement of the X. Wham, just like that. There we go, looks good. <laughs> All right, so now we got our two more little juts out, just like we did on the front. Keeping it symmetrical, it appeals to my OCD. Go ahead and fill that in with little one by ones like so, boom, boom. All right, come up to the roof and we're gonna go ahead and just fill in all of our overhang with one by one meters because if I don't do it now, I am definitely gonna forget. <laughs> now let's go ahead and pop these corners on. And we're going to do the corner pieces in all four corners, no flat sides on this roof right here. That way I can utilize another trick for you guys. But let's go ahead and get some ceiling, have some room to walk, and we can finish laying out these corners like so. Boom. And then, of course, all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow all of those corners around. And we're going to add a couple of these inverted right here above the door frame. And maybe over one of the windows in the back. Just keep it to two. But then we had a surprise visit from some trolls. And it gave me a little bit of company for a while. These guys... Out of reach but they were just kind of creeping on me there for a while took a quick selfie with them and then i had to murder them <laughs> but back to the build now i'm gonna go ahead and lay out these window frames right here boom now we have one right there now as you can see if you try to place this just like freehand you're trying trying to hit all these different snap points from these different boards so to make sure we're getting right on size i'm going to come right off that boom and use another board to make it perfectly square now we can come up here and we're going to force a snap point with this on the top of those walls so we can get a perfect little center roof board right there for our windows. And now we're going to outline it. Boom. And as you can see, we've got a board already down here. I'm going to outline the frame right off the top of those inclines. And we're going to build our window frame off top of these little 2 by one boards. Not using a, a wall board at all up here in these windows. All 2 by one meters. I mean one by one meter boards. So it comes out looking like so. And then of course you can come on the inside and you can place little filler blocks to fill in the cracks. But that looks pretty good as long as you suck it back a little bit, you know, and it's not flush with those outer boards, it'll come out fine. Then we're gonna do it on the other side. And as I don't like how those inverted boards right there are matching up, I think I'm gonna do a really tall center tower right here. So we're gonna push those back so they're touching and then we're gonna come straight up like so. 
That way we have just kind of a big window right here that we can play with. Put some circles or some X's or something, you know, something, something different that I haven't done. So right now we're going to go with like a chain link kind of looking thing, which I don't think it's necessarily tall enough to have as many as I would like. I would like to be able to spell cook right there. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> but as you can see, I just filled in those cracks right there. I'm going to do the same in the top of this window, kind of close them up a little bit. And then as you see, I just kind of followed it all the way around and then put another little, little window cap roof piece over there with two inverted. And we're gonna keep coming up <clears throat> all the way. And this is an issue I see a lot of people run into when they're doing this, when they put four corner pieces on a building and you go roofing tiles all the way up, you're gonna have a little gap up there and you're at the very end, you usually have like a little triangle that's just left exposed. So to successfully be able to cap this off smoothly and follow the curvature of the roof, you can't just kind of, there's no snap point already there for you to be able to do this with the corners. So you're just gonna have to come off the top one meter over to the side and then one out to the center. And then you're gonna have to get on top and pop one right here. And this is kind of the same thing you would do with the round roof. If you haven't seen the round roof tutorial I did, it's a perfect way to teach you how to cap off roofs. Cause this is another thing that people do when they get to the top of a round roof. They're like, oh, I don't know how to cap this off. And they just throw a, a corner piece up here with an X on the side of it. And it looks like crap, <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is the way to fix that right here. You have your little beam right there that you can snap off of and then you can destroy the supports afterwards, of course. And then everything will just look kosher. Mwah, like that perfect now as you can see i got a couple placeholder boards back here i just wanted to remind myself i wanted a walkway right in this general vicinity and as you can see the roof's panned out already and now we can finish it off and we can do the same thing over here in this corner that we did to the other side with our quick little trick bada bing bada boom one off one over boom 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 just like that all right and that is why we had that perfect overhang right there now we can just move these sidewalls are in right here and i can actually use the 45 degree corner boards to actually cap that off and make a nice looking little doorway and put a cute little roof on it as well boom boom there we go just like that just like that and boom all right frame it up frame it up like always frame this one as well i see it is naked might need to close that in fill in that gap i could just do like a x behind it i don't know Definitely need to follow these over right here with the roofing tiles. Go ahead and just boom. That way it just kind of connects. Doesn't leave it open. And now we can just bring this tower up. We're going to make this a little taller than the back of the roof. And I'm not going to run it all the way through. Because I just want this to be kind of like a, a church tower peak. And like I said, I didn't like those chains. They were, I think they were too far apart. So I'm going to push them all together with no boards in between them. Don't like how that snap looks go up here and here we go coming down and i'm going to take out the boards in between them and bring them close together i wanted to spell cook i just couldn't get a a small small enough c i might have to end up just doing it with mushrooms you know and put brew on the brewery building and store on the storage building <laughs> just make it real plain and simple and it's fun you know what what else think you got better to do all right and that's not it's gonna that's not gonna work let's come outside and haha -ha, there we go perfect right there there we go the power of editing boom this place is really coming along looking nice and now i'm just gonna do a nice viking style peek on this thing i'm just gonna frame it out real fast and then cap it off boom boom there we go and so it could connect it right there to the back of that roof huh? might look but i think that looks good right there and then of course if we don't want to go a full beam we'll just like a half a beam a little longer in the bottom we'll get our way over here so we'll go down one meter over one and we'll put our 45 so we can kind of blend up top and not right there like sticking way far down which we could like see how it's all built nice and symmetrical where you can almost connect the roofs together that's what i'm talking about so I'm just going to fill in this right here, make a nice little slot window. And then of course I'm going to fill it in with fencing. So we need our snap point to be a little longer. So I'm going to move that board out the way and we'll fill it in later. Boom. There we have it. A nice, beautiful inlaid fencing windows. You know, keeping of course the direction, the diagonals running towards each other. You know, the peaks. Fill this in right here. I think that'll look a little better. Yeah, I like that. But now we're going to get our staircase up to the second floor, which is going to be like our overflow storage, which I will label good to put a little time into it. I have been behind, but I'm trying to catch back up. Here we go. Frame this in. Boom. 
boom, making it nice and pretty. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. But there we go. And then of course I'm gonna add an extra little overhang to that too. Llamas come by, dropped off some more wood. And of course I added that nice, beautiful little porch right there. You know, just simple railings, nothing too crazy. You know, and of course I'm gonna do the storage building in between the other platform that I already have laid out. And eventually all, I think all that will connect and make like a little boardwalk. But then we move inside and as you can see i just laid a campfire and a hearth down into the floor and opened up the two windows behind it and it perfectly vents you know with the 45 degree boards on the roof pushing it right out and we laid down our chain hooks and our cauldron and now i'm gonna go and i'm gonna stick little meat stands the wooden ones in between all of those hooks oh yeah now we're gonna have the ultimate cooking stand that's what i'm talking about cook everything on that bad boy all at once and probably could put more chain hooks up there but that is to come we need more chain <laughs> i used up all the chain to put that on there because this isn't the survival server so next we are going to get our little chest action going on and i'm going to use the floating letters for this so i'm going to build off to the side and i'm going to inlay the signs that i'm going to place into the wall so we're going to have to put down a board force first and run all the way up you know placing them on the board nice in the center of the chest typing in whatever we want and then hitting the space as much as we can and you give it some tests like always boom like that's right in the center and some words are too big the bigger you go the less spaces you get to push over so you kind of got to keep it short to be able to move it a whole bunch but once you have them on there then you're going to come off the wall using a snap point to free place them and boom there you go now you have beautiful floating signs still works i love it i'm glad they haven't patched that it's a very handy trick boom now i'm just going to box the rest of this in real fast there we go might add some more on the side next we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side of the room in which i ran out of wood so i'm going to have to do some more over there as well but that'll be too come because all of this is all that i had the materials for at the time so we've just got a nice setup so far for just raw ingredients i'm going to add in a whole bunch more storage for mead bases right over there on the right that way whenever you're crafting mead bases and you're not sticking them in the fermenter which the room next door we'll have um, over like normal storage for the mead bases and the meads and everything. And I'm gonna do a wicked setup, I would believe for these uh, fermenters that I have a good idea where we could do a spiral run. You know, I wanna make it kind of automated where they fall out on diagonal boards and roll down, but I don't know, it's still being workshopped. So, <laughs> well, I'll let you know how well that goes. But that's all you get out of me today, folks. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, give it a damn like. I really appreciate it. And comment down below. Tell me what you thought. And, of course, stay tuned for episode four when I go and I build the brew room. And it's going to have so many fermenters in it. I'm going to find a way. I want them to kind of, like, run down on slopes if you could get it to hit them from the back. I don't know. I'm still workshopping a new idea to do something different, as always. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. And I will catch you, folks in the next one.